Stolen by Lucy Christopher is a story about Gemma Toombs, a 16-year-old girl who was kidnapped by an unstable 24-year-old man named Ty. Kidnapped at the airport when her drink was drugged, the story entails her emotions and experiences at being taken away from her parents and being stuck in the middle of the sandy desert and the Australian outback. To start, the writing style is very unique as it's written as a letter to the man that kidnapped her, Ty. While I find the writing style interesting, it wasn't exactly my favorite as it confused me occasionally. I had to keep reminding myself that when Gemma referred to anyone as you in the story, she was talking about Ty. However, I got the hang of it eventually, and that writing style may be more appealing to others. Additionally, the writing is very descriptive, and I will say you will learn a lot about plants while reading this. Ultimately, a very creative style of writing that can be appealing for some, but also not the easiest to read at a steady pace. Next, the plot of Stolen had a lot of potential. When I first heard of the book, it sounded very interesting, and I ordered it fairly quickly. However, I found it hard to finish this book, and it took me about a month or two to get myself to read it all. Honestly, I found the story to be very repetitive once they were in the Australian outback. There's a lot of descriptions of the plants and nature of the desert, and although that's important, it dragged on a little too long for me. Besides that, the plot was lacking at the end of the book, and it didn't explain in detail what happened to Ty. The ending wasn't terrible, but it was predictable and lackluster in my opinion. Thirdly, the characters were unlikable for me personally. Obviously, Ty is dislikable because he literally kidnapped a 16-year-old and insists that he was doing them a favor, but I was surprised that I ended up disliking Gemma as well. She starts off with complaining about being in the Great Sandy Desert and remains consistent with her feelings throughout the entire book until the ending. As a matter of fact, she literally threatened to physically harm Ty and took the truck to escape and almost died attempting this. Opposing all of her previous feelings, though, once she finally escapes him, she wants to go back and complains about being in the city now. Briefly, towards the end of the book, Gemma develops romantic feelings for Ty, and it was so out of left field for me that I couldn't even pass it as Stockholm Syndrome. In the beginning, she describes Ty as, quote, stupid and mentally ill, end quote, which I agree with, honestly, and she was also convinced he was going to go full Hannibal Lecter on her. Then, once she is out of the Great Sandy Desert, Gemma stated, quote, All I could think about was you. I wanted you in the apartment. I wanted your arms around me, your face close to mine. I wanted your smell. End quote. Really, it just annoyed me that she complained the entire time in the desert and then complained the entire time after she escaped. Ultimately, Stockholm Syndrome is a complicated subject, and if that's what Gemma was supposed to have, I felt like it could have been portrayed better, because it felt like it didn't connect properly and left me confused. In conclusion, Stolen had a very interesting idea for a plot and a creative writing style to go along with it. Frankly, it wasn't quite appealing to me, but it could definitely be other people's type of book they would like to read. Following that, I'd recommend this book to people who enjoy slow burns, a descriptive atmosphere, and shorter novels. Though if you are looking for an intense thriller, I wouldn't recommend it as I was a little bored. Hey guys, thanks for listening to today's book review, and please let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you've already read the book, I'd love to hear if you enjoyed the book or disliked it. Of course, if you'd like to read the book, it's called Stolen by Lucy Christopher and can be found on Amazon for sure. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification button so you won't miss my next video, and thanks again for listening.